today we are talking about a topic that can add both beauty and danger to your film scenes. Today we're talking about fire. In this episode, we'll uncover the secrets of using fire as a lighting tool while ensuring safety and realism. First, let's extinguish some misconceptions. Lighting a scene with fire might seem enticing, but in reality, it's actually a very complex and dangerous task. Many beginner filmmakers mistakenly believe that filming a firelit scene is as easy as lighting a torch and pressing record. Real life flames can actually be very unpredictable and are usually insufficient as a light source in themselves uh, for storytelling and filmmaking. Let's look at why there's such an allure to firelit storytelling. Why do so many people incorporate fire into their scripts? Because if you're shooting a movie before the advent of electricity at nighttime, you really have no alternative to using fire or else your scene is going to be pitch black. Fire also adds a natural warm glow that electric lights can't easily replicate. The flickering of the light dancing on the subject can invoke mystery, intensity, and intrigue. It is a very beautiful light source. Take this famous cave lit scene from the 13th warrior. This is a perfect example of the power of a fire lit scene. The multiple torches that light the cave add suspense and give the impression of uh, primal danger. Using fire to light a scene is a double-edged sword. While it can bring captivating visuals to your scenes, it also poses significant risks. Flames are a huge liability. You're constantly worried that they will burn someone or something while you're shooting or getting ready to shoot. So here I have my uh, burning flaming torch. While I'm getting good illumination on my face, actual fire itself is, is peeking out. If I adjust my camera, like up something like F4, and try and hold a little bit more detail in the flame, unless I get my face pretty close to the flame, safely I should have it off to the side here, and now you're getting very little. So it's difficult to get both good illumination from the fire and uh, the fire not to just be a blown out mess of, of white. Looks best when it's just out of frame and you're exposing to get some good facial uh, concepts rather than, as a director, this is a fantastic effect. As the producer, this makes me really nervous because you know, when people start filming and actors get excited, they get into character and they start whipping this flaming torch around, you have the huge potential to injure someone or themselves. You can easily shut down an entire film if your actor just happens to turn around too fast and jams the torch they're carrying into someone's face or drops the prop and sets fire to the whole set. There are also some less obvious dangers to using real fire on set. The thick smoke, by a burning torch can be really highly toxic and it can lead to medical problems either immediately or long-term. These risks are amplified in enclosed spaces such as caves or buildings because the smoke can fill up the room really quickly and it can also deplete the oxygen. The good news is that you can use lighting techniques and camera movement to create a safer environment for your actors all while getting the same effect as real flames. Let's get into the magic of merging real and artificial light to create the same mesmerizing firelit cinematography. While fully lighting a scene with real flames is not always ideal, there are plenty of other options to get the same effect. You can combine real flames with electric lights, especially LEDs set to their uh, flame or fire setting, and add some safe artificial smog or uh, haze to sell the fire effect, to gain both safety and control while controlling the brightness and the illumination in your scene more accurately. This technique allows for seamless integration, enhancing the overall impact of fire lighting. My favorite example of this is in the movie Predator. During this scene where Arnold's character Dutch is getting ready to uh, take on the Predator one-to-one, -one, the film crew positioned uh, orange light in the firewood, which illuminated most of the scene but still sold the effect with a little bit of smoke from what's called a smudge pot, which is essentially a big smoky candle. They used real flame in a couple of the shots, which went a long way to sell the illusion when they're actually using uh, probably a tungsten light since this was shot before the advent of LEDs. They also did a really great job of using foreground elements like the silhouette of tree trunks or branches to hide the 
source of the flame and just give the uh, illumination of it so that you don't have this competing illumination. The ultimate goal of lighting a scene with fire is to strike the balance between realism and safety. A great way to achieve this is to use a long camera lens, which will allow greater distance between the actor or actors and the fire in either the background or the foreground. It will look like they're right next to it, but they can be 10 or 15 feet away. This is a great technique, but to execute it successfully, the actor can't interact with the fire in any real way because they're gonna be a safe distance from that. And this is what you want. You want your actors and your fire to be as separate as possible. And hopefully only trained pyrotechnicians or stunt people interacting with the fire that know how to handle it safely. Fire can be a powerful tool in your filmmaking arsenal, but it comes with a huge responsibility that's not always worth the effect that you get from it. Safety and creatively incorporating fire into your scenes will elevate your story and can captivate an audience. That's a wrap for today's video. I hope you've gained some value insights into the world of fire lighting. If you found this helpful, check out Canon Masterclass. I have a ton more tutorials up there, everything from blocking to lighting to camera movement and detailed deep dives into individual cinema cameras. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.